a Jersey City man was shot in the face and blinded, and he is now facing 60 years in jail. Yes, his name is Fel his last name is Felton, Kawandra Felton. Um, and the story here is he was leaving a he was leaving a baby shower in Jersey City. A police officer approached him, um, Sergeant Thomas Mc. Vicar, McVicar, um, approached him and basically you know, said, you know, hey, I'm going to, he literally said, yo, you little black mother effer, you better get the F down or before I blow, before I effing blow your brains out. There was no reason. Um, Felton did not have a weapon, right? But the police officer, quote unquote, felt so the, the, the defendant might have had a weapon and thus he shot him in the face, blinding him in his eyes and now he's being charged with police brutality um as well as obstruction of justice i believe are the two no here he goes a aggravated assault against a police officer and a conspiracy to distribute controlled substances thus he's sentenced to 30 years in jail he's already blind he has told his lawyers and he's told the courts that he really just wants to commit suicide because being blind, you know, being shot in the head isn't enough, right? It's enough of a punishment for the fact that he committed really no crime. But he aggravatedly, possibly could have aggravatedly assaulted a police officer, the same police officer who shot him in his head and blinded him. America, I got to tell you, when people sit out, when people sit down and wonder why we have black, brown police problems or black and brown folks don't trust the police we don't like the police we have issues with the police here is the reason because police officers do things like this they say things like i'm you better get down you mother and effing little black boy or i'm gonna blow your brains out or people get stopped for no reason because there happen to be african americans it's happened to me a couple times driving while black and you wonder why we have a problem with police officers if we want to fix our problem with police officers, we need to have a dialogue in our communities about what is going wrong, what's going right, how do we end racial profiling, and how do we have a dialogue about fixing it. In 2014, maybe I'm hopeful, I hope we can get it done. Because we just need to have a dialogue about these things. We need to have a dialogue. That's how we solve these problems. This guy should not be in jail for 30 years. Right? Uh, and folks like Trayvon Martin shouldn't be dead. We've got to end profiling. We've got to do it soon. But in order for us, we have to have a dialogue about it. I really believe we just got to have a dialogue. <laughs>